We would like to share this story with you about not judging a book by its cover. A strange guy repeated this behavior every morning and then disappeared. He would simply stand in front of the local school and smile at the girls on their way to school. The student said that he made them feel uncomfortable and they reported him to the security guard. Taking serious note of this, he rounded up the other guards and they devised a plan to catch the man the following day. It was pretty easy for them to get him, with two men grabbing him from behind, a third to handcuff him and the chief guard to march him to the principal's office. They were pushing and shoving him so hard that he stumbled and fell into the principal's office. The principal ordered for the man to be released from his handcuffs. The principal's heart skipped a beat at the sight of his face. And once he recognized the man's face, he dropped all the files in his hands to reach out and help the man up. And he apologized to him over and over again. The guard at the door was shocked to see this behavior from the principal. Why is he apologizing to a stalker? The principal offered a chair to the man and ordered the guard to go and fetch him a soda. But the guy said not to worry about it. The principal offered more apologies on behalf of the security guards, but the man had no grudges and he said he would have done the same. He even commended the guard on fulfilling his duties and he left. The guard was brimming with curiosity and wanted to know what all of that was about. So the principal replied, He is the owner of this school. The guard was so shocked by these words that they sent a chill down his spine. His great-grandfather had donated this place. He and his sister used to study here, but one day after school, while crossing the road, his sister was run over by a lorry and she died right there before his eyes. Since then, whenever he's in town, he comes here regularly to see his sister in every other girl child and he still donates a part of his salary to the school. The watchman walked out of the principal's room with a heavy heart for the way he handled such a great person. The sad story also affecting the kids who had been eavesdropping at the window. The following day, all the students in the school waited outside the principal's room instead of their usual classrooms. When he asked them what they were doing there, they replied that they would like to invite the owner of the school for a visit. The principal agreed and sent out a written invitation. The owner accepted the invitation to visit the school. The owner accepted the invitation to visit the school on Children's Day. Delighted to receive their guest, they prepared well in advance for him. So, Children's Day arrived and so did the owner of the school. The guard stood waiting for him and saluted when he arrived. He just smiled kindly in return. The students welcomed him with flowers and escorted him to the stage to deliver a brief speech. He had compiled an inspiring speech about the importance of education. He also handed out sweets and gifts to every single child. Then some of the girls came forward to present him with a raksha badan and tie it to him. His mind was suddenly flooded with memories of his sister and a tear ran down his face. One of the girls noticed and gently wiped the tear away. He hugged all the kids goodbye and promised to return on the following Children's Day with more sweets and gifts. This story is yet another reminder to be kind instead of jumping to conclusions about others. Jumping to conclusions about other people can ruin their reputations or embarrass them unnecessarily. The way he was treated by the guards without them even questioning him first was out of order. Obviously they had to carry the shame of their actions. As the principal of the school said, we should not jump to conclusions about people without knowing the facts. If you enjoyed our video, please subscribe and remember to click that bell to be notified of our next video. Goodbye and see you soon.